First of all, congratulations, a, a winning goal in the FA Trophy. Uh, j- just how did that feel when it hit the back of the net? No, uh, absolutely brilliant. Uh, I thought the lads dug deep, uh, especially with the change in the team. It's not easy and we've not had a game for so long. So I think everybody wanted to put it right and give everything out there. And it's always nice to um, get the goal at the end, especially like that, and get the wheel in. on into the next round we go. Yeah, it's uh, tough conditions as well. Like you say, you haven't played for a long time. I think it's the first game in 19 days. All the players are chomping at the bit to try and get a game. Uh, for, for you personally, what, what was it like out there? Uh, no, I thought the lads uh, started quite well and we start quite comfortable playing out. Um, we didn't really affect it that much in the final third, but I thought as the game went on, we got better and better and that as the game went on. And uh, Jimmy done well to get himself a goal in the box. Uh, we've been working on a lot on that, all the strikers. And uh, yeah, it was just being patient and uh, it with possession and then being deadly in the final third. And uh, we had a lot of chances. Well, towards the last push at the end, we was really pushing for the win. Um, they had their fair share of chances as well, um, which we defended well at times and Luke pulled off some brilliant saves. So uh, no, it's brilliant to get the result like that, especially at the end. And uh, yeah, great win. And, and as well, uh, your, your goal right at the end. Uh, talk us through it, because it, it was one of those where we just want thinking, if I just hit this and try and get it on target, it might go in. Yeah, no, uh, Ruben did well to sort of bring the ball down the first place and then the guy sort of nicked it off him and I won possession back and I thought, why not, let's hit it. And I caught it sweet. I thought, oh God, he's blocked it sort of thing and it just slightly come off him and obviously gone in the other direction and uh, gone in, which is brilliant for us. And yeah, it got us the win in the end, which is great. And and as well, you, like like we said before, you've not played for a long time. What's the, what's the mood been like? Not not being able to play a game with games being postponed and having having to sort of wait for competitive football yeah. again. Yeah, no, it's been frustrated. We've been really trying as a club, everyone trying to get the game, get another game on if possible. And people and other teams have been sort of funny about it. Um, but at the end of the day, it's going to happen in the situation we're in. Uh, the important thing is everyone's health at the end of the day, but it's going to be the same, I suppose, for the teams. But um, I suppose the lads have took the frustration out in training and uh, today in the game, the training's been good. Uh, everybody's been working hard, jumping at the bit and uh, a great opportunity for the lads that have not had regular game time to uh, show the manager what they're about and push for, push in for the team. So at the end of the day, it's a squad game and uh, everybody's got to work hard and when called upon, put in a shift for the team and uh, there's game's coming thick and fast and everybody's got to put a, put, play a role for the side and like today uh, the important thing is to get the win and like I say into the next round we go which is great and you're going into a, a very congested fixture list going into a good run of games how, how, how important is it that, that the players all get a share of the minutes and, and things like that of course players are going to be trying to get a shirt and keep a shirt but given the yeah. fixtures that you've got lots of postponements how do you work around that yeah, no, the manager said that uh, this past week. Um, obviously, we've got a great squad, um, but if people aren't at it, then he won't change it. But again, there's that many games. I don't think any one of us is going to be able to play the amount of games we've got Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday without picking up a knock or getting an injury, which I hope that doesn't happen. But at the end of the day, it's a squad game throughout the whole season and um, we've got a great bunch. Everyone's willing to fight and stick together and uh, let's... We hope when everyone, whoever's called upon that they're ready to come and put the shirt on and put a shift in for the team. Absolutely. And that, in, in that instance, that sort of happened to you today, didn't it? With uh, with Enzo Baldwin's injury, were you expecting to come on as yeah. soon as you did? No, yeah. No, um, I don't. I'm not 100% sure if it's planned or not. I literally just come out from the second half and go to the toilet and come back out and the man just said, get warm. And But I wanted to get on there, to be fair. I was like, it's like you're saying about us having a game. It's been frustrating. So no, I was. I kept warming up. So I think I wanted to get out there and get on the pitch and show him. I wanted to get on there. And at the end, it's nice to get the winner as well and send us into the next round. And uh, very finally, uh, two new faces for you to, uh, to get to know as well. Uh, Calvin Miller, he played today and any Effie on, he was cup tied today. How have they settled in? Yeah. No, they've settled in great. Um, they've been with us the last three, four days now. And uh, no, they're great lads. Um, easy to get along with. Me and Innie, we've been working a lot together already, trying to build that partnership together. So um, no, I think there's really good things to come from that. He's a great lad. Uh, Calvin's a great lad as well. Today, done well at left back. Phil Innie can play left back or left midfield. Um, so no two really good signings for us there and uh, again it brings competition to the squad and that's what we need to try and get this promotion which is what everyone wants.